All right, guys. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the camshaft sprocket. I already already removed the uh, the one on the driver's side. Now I gotta get the seal out of there. But I'm gonna show you this one before my camera runs out of battery here. Put it back in the timing, in the proper timing. Uh, just for peace of mind purposes. But now. See if this side's a little easier to remove. Doubt it. guys so I got both all three seals installed on the cam and the crank so as you can see you have to when you slide it in you, have, you gotta sand sand this down just to get all the some of the rust and stuff out of the way so you won't damage the seal as you're sliding it in I use 600 grit sandpaper to do that so hopefully Everything works out well. I am gonna push this seal a little bit further in. I don't know, let's see how this one is sticking in. This is this how they were. They were sticking maybe an, an eighth of an inch inside. So I'm gonna push that one a little bit more just to be on the safe side. All right guys, I just finished installing the pump, the water pump. Uh, as you can see, I did use a little bit of silicone here, that in there, down there, and then up here as well, because you have to detach it from up here. I did install the sprockets back, but they're not torqued yet. I'm gonna torque them once I get the timing belt on there, just to make it a little bit easier. So, but yeah, we're, um, we are getting ready to just re start reassembling everything here in the front. And um, I'm pretty confident that everything is gonna it's gonna be okay. The the water pump is a little little bit a uh, little bit of a pain in the butt to install because you have to not only make sure that everything is okay here in the front with the gasket, also the gasket up here as you're installing it, and the little water pipe in the back. Make sure that O-ring is lubricated with water. I put a little bit of coolant on it. Um, according to the repair manual, that's what it says, to, to use water. Um, and then once everything is on there, put the bolts on, hand tight, and then come in with your torque wrench 
Start with the water pump and the star pattern. And then this guy up here as well. Uh, 18 foot pounds on these guys for the water pump. 13, 13 uh, Newton meters or about 10 foot pounds for these guys. Um, and then just go from there. All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, we we'll install the crank sensor. It's right here. one first Okay.
These are torqued at 17 foot pounds. This idler pulley torque is 33 foot pounds. It's 14 millimeter socket or bolt. Go one half more. Yeah, I made it quick. That's it. Okay, oh, you cook something, please. And this is the actual tensioner. And then you got the two little holes there to adjust it. It's basically an eccentric. As you can see, the the bolt hole is a little bit off off center, so that you can apply apply tension to the belt. And the tension that you apply using the the tool that goes on here, and you you pry on it until you reach 39 inch pounds and then you lock the bolt down but that's after the belt is on there having a hard time getting in there so just cleaning out the threads here with this little wire gun barrel brush just to make sure and it's, it might be designed that way it might be tapered that way I'm not sure so yeah see so it kind of gets tight right there but that might be normal. 